Cloud computing is on the rise. For those just getting started, this video will introduce the core concepts of the Windows Azure environment and its basic features. Understanding Windows Azure. What is it? What's it all about? How does it work? Let's have a quick look. For starters, Azure is the basis of Microsoft's cloud computing model. A number of organizations these days are starting to move toward cloud-based solutions, which simply means that the solutions that you require, the services, are not on your own premises. They exist uh, at hosted locations available on the Internet, and Microsoft provides this service, and it's simply known as cloud computing, and Windows Azure is Microsoft's implementation of that. This provides on-demand, scalable, and highly available self-service computing resources. You can go in and create the resources that you need yourself. You don't have to put in requests that have to go through any kind of uh, process to be approved. You simply put together whatever it is that you require for your own computing environment and your required solutions. It's based on a utility model, not unlike your electricity or your water. Uh, you pay only for what you use. There is certainly still a monthly fee that you might have to do, um, you know, for these services that you might have to pay. But after that, you, you don't pay for what you don't use, more importantly. So, in short, you're leveraging the infrastructure of an existing computing environment uh, to reduce, possibly even eliminate, on-premise solutions. So, you simply subscribe to whatever it is that you need, and now, with that, you don't have to maintain those resources yourself. So, we'll see an example of how that works shortly. There are uh, various architectural components when you're dealing with an Azure-based solution, and all cloud-based solutions provide effectively these three services, what's known as infrastructure as a service, uh, basic computing and storage resources, virtual machines, the network services, the servers themselves that provide those services such as name resolution or IP address management, things like that, just your, your basic requirements. Platform as a service is for hosting your applications. So if you have a website or a web-based application, uh, any kind of messaging solution or database solution, Platform as a service provides those resources in the, in the back end for you so that your applications can access those databases or those websites. Software as a service is on-demand applications such as Office 365, and that, of course, is Microsoft's Azure-based office-based applications. Uh, so you can subscribe to Word and Excel and PowerPoint literally in the cloud as well. So let's have a look at how it sort of used to work, if you will, prior to cloud-based solutions when when all we had was, was on-premise solutions. Let's use an example that everyone's familiar with, just an email type of scenario. We, of course, have our client systems, which at the end of the day, they're only concerned with receiving their email. So what you would have to do to, to set that up would be to implement a messaging server in your own environment, which, of course, then connects you to the Internet and the rest of the world. But along with that messaging server, there's licensing costs, there's operating system maintenance, upgrades, all the patches that you have to get. And with a messaging solution, you would also have to get an antivirus, spam filters, and you'd have to maintain that as well. And, of course, as things evolve, you're going to require upgrades to the hardware, more storage, more memory, more processing. So all of that falls on your shoulders, if you will. You are responsible for maintaining that entire infrastructure and keeping it up to date and keeping it healthy. If we look at an Azure-based solution, we still have our desktop systems. That hasn't changed, but, again, they're only concerned with getting their email. So it really doesn't matter to them how they go about that. So what you can think of as the next piece of the puzzle is the Internet itself. So the messaging server no longer resides within your own environment. You simply subscribe to a messaging server service that's provided to you by the Azure-based solution. So this way, the licensing, the maintenance for the operating system, the antivirus and spam filters, all of the hardware upgrades, all of those are no longer your responsibility. So in essence, they go away. It's not up to you to maintain that infrastructure anymore. 
So the idea behind this is that, again, you only pay for what you use. So your subscription is based on usage. So what we're trying to do is to reduce the total cost of ownership by simply subscribing to these services and not having to maintain all of those costs and not just monetary costs, but administrative overhead as well. So with an Azure-based solution, on-premises solutions are no longer required. We can subscribe only to what we need and pay for only what we use. And it's a great way to advance all of the services in your environment, hopefully at a lower cost uh, and a lower maintenance requirement.